Hello friends, welcome to today's session. I am Pradeep Kumar. So friends, this is the tutorial number 30 of AWS Cloud tutorial series. So friends, in today's session, we will discuss about one important interview questions that is what are the difference between Amazon S3 versus Amazon Glaciers. So both are storage service, but today we will discuss about uh, you know uh, what are the difference between S3 and Glacier. So friends, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now for more videos related to different cloud technology, different DevOps technologies, and Linux administration, and many more latest technology. So let's get started. So friends, uh, I have prepared one consolidated sheet uh, for you guys that, uh, you know, left side uh, Amazon S3, then the right side is Amazon Glacier. So from the Amazon S3, so S3 is used to store data which is used frequently. Okay, so generally we used to store our data which data were frequently accessed, daily uses. Okay, but in Amazon Glacier, Glaciers is used to store data which is not used frequently and can be stored for decades. So that means infrequent access data. Okay, see in Amazon Glacier, we used to store our data for long time in an archival format and which data is infrequent access. Then second difference is S3 is comparatively a cost service due to its low latency and high IOPS. Okay, so S3 is, is a costly service. Okay, and but data retrieval and uh, everything is faster. Okay, but in Glacier doesn't have these features and data retrieval takes around 3 to 5 hours. Okay, then third difference S3 objects are stored in buckets. In S3, whatever the uh, files you will store in a S3, that is stored under buckets. But in Glacier, we need to create vaults. Under vault, the data will get stored, okay, in an archival format. Then last uh, difference, lifecycle policies can be set on S3 object in which after some times, the object are either deleted or archived to Glacier. So you can set a you know life cycle policy in the S3 uh, bucket okay after some times it can be uh, deleted or it can be you know archived to the glacier okay but in glacier you cannot set any type of life cycle policies if you want to retrieve from uh, data from a glacier then you have to set up a job after 3 to 5 hours that you know uh, as per your job the data will get retrieved from the Amazon Glacier storage. So friends, these are the uh, differences I found. So you can, you know, uh, you can download any, you know, you can find the Google, the, if you get, you can get more differences. Okay. So hope you enjoyed the session. Please stay tuned for next videos. Thank you guys.